Three years ago, I made a YouTube video just about McDonald's Sprite and the experience of tasting a McDonald's Sprite. And I think I described it as tasting like black tar heroin and happiness. And I still stand by that. It's so good. What the hell? Hello, I'm Worldstar. Unless you're the FBI, then I'm actually Cornelia Sabator in me no speak English. I make commentary videos about things that I care about. And today I'm gonna to be caring about Twitter. This video is gonna be very interesting for me, honestly, because I didn't write a script for this. I feel like a script isn't necessary. We're just gonna do a little bit of house hunting, if you will, except the houses are tweets and the tweets are terrible. <laughs> Before we get started with this video, if you would like to follow any of my other social medias, it, they will be linked below me and also gliding across the screen so elegantly, so gracefully, they melt my heart. Um, if you would like to like the video, that will also be below me. If you would like to subscribe, that will also be beneath me. No pressure. Uh, so Twitter. Twitter is a very interesting place, I think. It's actually one of my favorite apps. Even though Twitter is such a shit show, I feel like that's the reason why I love Twitter so much. It's a circus. Who doesn't like going to the circus? I, I like going to this. I don't like clowns though. Not a big fan of that. Remember the clown epidemic in like 2016? What was up with that? I blame it the movie. Seriously, Pennywise just ruined it for everybody, I think. So today we're gonna be looking at a very specific subsection of Twitter, Stan Twitter. But that's a very broad statement because there's a lot of sections of Stan Twitter. I used to be a part of Stan Twitter very briefly, like four years ago, I think. I don't know, it was, my experience wasn't that bad. I had a 21 Pilots fan account. Stay alive. <laughs> Is it backwards? I think it's backwards. Wait. There you go. Stay alive. I was more of a Instagram girly when it came to fan accounts, I'm gonna be honest. But, you know, I dabbled in Stan Twitter for a little bit. And my experience wasn't that terrible. I wasn't super deep into it or anything. It was no big deal. I feel like I was growing out of that phase right as I got on to Twitter. So not 100% in the nose of like how these things operate. But like I said, Stan Twitter, very broad. Okay, let's focus in, let's narrow our vision down to a particular subsection of Stan Twitter that I have noticed over the years. And I feel like if you are an active Twitter user, you would know exactly what I'm talking about. But I'm talking about accounts for musicians, like pop musicians, okay? Because I didn't see this when I was in 21 Pilots, in my little bubble with 21 Pilots. I noticed it's strictly with female pop musician fan accounts, I think, maybe. I'm pretty sure. I've seen it mostly. It's mostly people with Taylor Swift, uh, Ariana Grande, Nicki Minaj. Am I missing anybody? Doja Cat sometimes? I don't know. Those are the main four, the four horsemen of the apocalypse. People with profile pictures of those four beautiful ladies. They are acting like a fool on twitter.com. It's very weird. I notice that they, they're very formulaic. I think, I don't know how to describe this phenomenon. Go on any sort of account that keeps up with pop culture news. Pop crave, what is it? Pop base, charts, data, anything that really revolves around those musicians or just pop culture in general. They are there and they are just slandering all the time, okay? These people are not in these communities to support their faves. They're in these communities to bash other people's favorites and mask it behind supporting their favorites. It's really hard to explain. Let me show you some examples. Okay, I it was kind of hard. I got the idea for this video on April Fools, which was not the best time <laughs> to stalk these pop fan accounts because half of the news that they were reporting on was not actually real. I saved a few tweets. Show some examples, but we're, we're gonna look at some of these, okay? Let's start with this one. Also, I really like that you can downvote tweets now. You can't even see it. Like the person who's getting the downvote can't see it. So it's like kind of pointless in my eyes, but it's it was a nice idea in theory. Oh, this video is gonna be so fun to edit. I say sarcastically. All right, so this is very 
it's a beautiful tweet, okay? In honor of Trans Visibility Day, which passed just a couple days ago, Demi Lovato worked with Children's LA to surprise their patient Tao. It's a heartwarming story. It's really nice. It's sweet. Let's see what the fan accounts have to say about this. I just know that patient is disappointed. As a huge Demi Lovato fan, I agree, and it's Sel Selena. I know they're trying to say Selena, but they did not spell that right. What the f is wrong with you? You are cis. Your opinion doesn't count. Right. It's just so bizarre. I'm also going to try to be careful here because Twitter is very known for just having random pornography pop up. I can easily edit it out so it's like not that big of a deal, but you know, nobody wants to be accosted by a penis. Still flopped. No, they helped someone. Like, right. Like she was just helping somebody. I'm cherry picking here. All of the comments are not like this. I am cherry picking. I do know that but there's there's just a theme like look look at this demi does so so good things <laughs> and y'all still have the nerve to hate on them weird behavior if only misgender they okay demi lovato goes by they them they announced it, i think like last year so blatant just misgendering maybe they didn't know but i i i highly doubt that if only they stuck with singing which they're actually good at and not this clout chasing era people would take them Seriously, right, how is it clout chasing? See, it doesn't make sense. Hashtag shut up, loser. <laughs> I think everyone simply just forgot that Demi Lovato goes by they, them. I'm just, I'm very, it's very bizarre how nobody tried to correct them. Whatever. Hated comments ain't in this type of post, right? Like a lot of the, these types of comments, they're under very generic, innocent type of post. Here, I'll show you an example. It's just Selena Gomez with a selfie. Okay, that's that's the news. The news of the day. She has new hair. I think Selena Gomez looks freaking gorgeous, as she always has since I was eight years old when she was on uh, Wizards of Waverly Place. I am a Selena Gomez stanny. Selena Gomez in the scene. Where's the scene? What is the scene doing? I know they're not doing anything. Yeah. Can we have a reunion, please? I need to hear Naturally live again. I need to hear it. It's such a good song. Anyway, let's see what these people have to say. And Nikki, they really love comparing these musicians to each other. They love doing that. Girls against girls. That's not very feminist of you. I just realized 21 Pilots is trending. Why is 21 Pilots trending? What did they do? 21 Pilots is currently trending for no specific reason. All right, thank you. But they really like to pin these women, these gorgeous, gorgeous women against each other. Wait, what, what are these pictures? Okay. Oh, so this is anti Nicki. Yeah, I should have. Yeah. I'm not gonna sit here and defend Nicki Minaj and her actions. I'm not here to defend. I'm just here to bring awareness to things. I'm aware of the whole issue with Nicki Minaj. It's the same thing that Rihanna is doing right now. Cause like what? ASAP Rocky, I think he has a past. I think a lot of these men that like pop stars kind of affiliate themselves with they have a past i'm not gonna get into that in this video form your own opinions but that's really not the point right now why bring nikki into this at all this has nothing to do with nikki minaj yet they brought her in here anyway it looks horrible don't speak when there's a jump scare in your abby yeah that's another thing about these accounts sometimes they're funny she is a gorgeous woman i'm not gonna sit here and, t and like say that she's ugly she's not ugly at all I don't, I don't know who this is what is this she is uh, is this one of the hadids oh wait no that's Haley bieber and this profile picture says selena gomez and taylor swift anti they use an obvious problematic thing about Nicki Minaj and instead of actually having a bigger conversation and actually try to make a difference with what they're trying to say they kind of just throw it in here as kind of just a, a shallow jab and it doesn't even make sense in the context of this tweet because it's about Selena Gomez do you see my frustration these accounts give me migraines I can't do this anymore it's so bizarre it's not giving unshare it like these people, they obviously just, they don't actually care about Selena Gomez. They don't even care about their faves, probably. People love to say these things just for attention, okay? It gets the clicks. I'm aware of that, but it's just annoying. <laughs> it's just annoying and I don't like it at all. Also, you know, I'm not gonna 100% hate on these people either because a lot of them are children or minors, basically, who want that attention, who just like to start 
discourse. I don't know why it has to be within these fandoms. Maybe it's because these musicians are practically larger than life. Look at how many followers Ariana Grande has on Instagram. She has, shoot, how many? She has at least over a hundred million followers on Instagram. Is she the most followed one? Or is that still Selena Gomez? Ariana Grande, oh shit. I stand corrected. Ariana Grande has o over 300 million followers on Instagram. There are bound to be weird ass people within her fandom. So it's like, it's not completely bizarre that there's a lot of these oddballs. Their fan base is just so huge. It's just inevitable, but it's still weird. Finally, some good some good comments. Here we go. Wait, she looks so good. OMG. And did Taylor. Why? Like, why bring her up at all? They bring in people for no reason. Also, this is a Nicki Minaj fan account, so it doesn't even make sense. I think we all agree Haley is prettier. Again, I'm saying the same thing over and over again. Look at this one. Okay, Woman by Doja Cat re-enters the top 10 on US Spotify at number 9 with over 540,000 streams. Congrats to Doja Cat. I don't see Nicki doing this. And did Nicki Minaj? It's always about Nicki Minaj. Per Gue, I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't even know how to pronounce that. I did not bother. But y y as y'all know, there was a whole situation at um, this specific place that I'm not going to try to butcher again because I don't want to look like an idiot on my own channel. There was a whole incident in that place. I think I don't know the 100% the full story, but a lot of fans were outside of Doja Cat's hotel. I think she was supposed to perform there, but sh due to the weather, she couldn't. So she just stayed in her hotel. And there were a lot of fans that were outside of that hotel and she never bothered greeting them. And so now a lot of the fans there like just were sending her mass hate for not going outside in that weather to see them. Cause by the time Doja Cat did come out of their hotel, all of the people were just not there. I think I might be butchering the story. I might have missed something. I think, I don't know. I saw so many tweets about it. I think I got the gist of it. If I missed anything, I apologize. But yeah, for the most part, a lot of people were mad because she didn't go outside to greet her fans. Um, even though she does not have to do that. Listen, I'm not gonna put my whole two cents into this because I think the whole situation's stupid. And due to this situation, Doja Cat has claimed that she's going to quit music. I don't know if it's because of this specifically or if it's just a lot of things and that was just the um, the straw that broke the camel's back on this one, but I don't know. It's very disheartening. I love Doja Cat. My top artist last year on Spotify Wrapped was Doja Cat. I listened to Ain't Shit like 400 million times last year because I, when that snippet came out, when she showed that snippet on her Instagram Live, I was obsessed. I needed to hear the full. So of course I listened to it like a dozen million trillion times when it came out. Duh, I was waiting for that one. Turn it up. But yeah, Nikki, 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 Nikki. See, whenever something good is happening to one person, there always there's always somebody else that needs to be in the equation for some reason. And did Taylor and Cardi, like, wh like wh what do they have to do with anything? Taylor's not even in the same genre as um, Doja Cat. So it doesn't even make sense. And look at this one. It's just, it's an innocent one about Three members from BTS, Bruno Mars, and Anderson Pack. Silk Sonic with some fans. Three jump scares. I'm sorry. That's not funny. That's not funny. It's not funny. Listen, I don't have anything against BTS at all. I think I've I've heard just some of their songs. I think they're really good. Uh, I like Life Goes On. I'm sorry. My roommate. Let me call out my roommate in this video. That's right. She might see this video in the future and I really just don't care. My roommate has a tendency to bring stink bugs into this room. No, it's not me. It's not me. Because it's always after she leaves that a stink bug just appears. Like I will be in this room all day, not moving a muscle. She'll come in, she'll leave, and a stink bug appears. This has happened three times. So now every time I hear like a crackling noise, because sometimes my computer does that. Sometimes, I don't know, AC does that. It sounds like a stink bug is flying in the room. Sorry if I if I looked like I was having like war flashbacks. It's because I was. Rumi, if you're watching this, I know it's you. Back to this. A collab is coming, they all look good. See, positive, positive, positive. Positive, positive, positive-ish. Mm, okay, getting weirder. Yeah, see. Okay, so a lot of these are positive, but it's obviously like the top comments. The top comments are always like the worst, obviously, because like I said, they're doing it for interactions. They're doing it for the clicks. It's blatantly obvious why they're doing this. It's just so interesting. 
to see it. It's like, I don't know, it's weirdly fascinating. Because it's, a lot of the times you see the same exact accounts doing this too. They're, they're just constantly on Twitter. They had the post notifications on for Pop Bass. Nicki Minaj shooting the music video for We Go Up. Cardi, Queen of Rap. See, two views. One view stop being just jealous. <laughs> Oh my god. One view stop being so generous. It's not that funny. It really isn't. As the grown-up here, I need to say that these actions are bad. Grr, pitting women against women, being negative, bitter, angry, spewing hate about these people that you don't really care about. It's not a good thing. You shouldn't do that. But sometimes it's funny! I'm sorry. I don't agree with them, obviously, but sometimes the way that they phrase things, it's very humorous. And I, I... Sue me. Sue me. It's kind of funny. Sometimes. I like the ones where, I don't know if we really saw it, but there's like some where they'll say something. Like, for example, somebody will tweet something and then someone will finish their sentence. I don't know how to describe it. I need to see it. There it is, right here, right here. This is a good, the perfect example. Jump scare when we see Cardi. Like, it's just, I think they're funny sometimes. I'm not condoning this behavior, but sometimes it's funny. So <laughs> they get kind of tiring after you see the same one like over and over again. Like, look at this. She's so stunning on opposite day. Okay, here's one with Doja and Nikki together. Since so they love to pit them e against each other. Let's see what people have to say. Yeah, this one's just, it's just, this is just gross. I don't know. Some of these are just kind of weird. I don't know. These kids need to get off this damn app. It's just all I've learned from this entire experience. Get these children off of Twitter. This is a Dixie D'Amelio fan account that said something nasty. It's so weird. This one person has a, the Billboard Hot 100. It's like a screenshot of the Billboard Hot 100. I guess in like 2014 because the number one song on this screenshot is Shake It Off by Taylor Swift and the second song is Art. Um, excuse me, Anaconda by Nicki Minaj, an outdated screenshot of the Billboard Hot 100. Remember that one time that Taylor got the one up on Nicki? Like, I don't know. So weird. I've never been on this side of Twitter before. I've never interacted with these people. I, like I said, the only stan account I had on Twitter was for 21 Pilots. Nobody in the 21 Pilots fan base really acted like that. I, and I don't know what the issue is here. I think I really just think it's because these fan bases are just so large that they can't filter out the bad from the good because it's not like these artists are just letting their fans just run amok. You know, 21 Pilots, they're very... I mean, they're not super duper interactive with their fans necessarily, but they do. They're like more interactive than than most, if that makes sense. Like they're not obvious. They're not super into their fan base or anything. But at the same time, how do I explain this? This is really hard to explain. Like they don't tweet all the time. They don't post on Instagram all the time. They don't really post on social media every single day. They're not always talking to their fans, but they still interact as much as humanly possible when they are online. Ariana Grande, she's not even on Twitter. I think she kind of just posts a cute little picture on Instagram every once in a while and calls it a day. She's not really connected with her fans on social media in that way. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing. It's not like Ariana Grande is this mysterious creature that we know nothing about. No, she definitely is very open. But at the same time, she keeps a boundary with her fans. I'm not saying that due to that boundary, she has these horrible people. I think these horrible people are the reason why she has these boundaries in the first place because a lot of these musicians were once active on their social media, I feel. And over time, as their fan base got larger and larger, it became, it became harder and harder to please everybody. And so if you can't please anybody, then don't even bother. Cut them off, keep your peace. I feel like a lot of these bigger artists just aren't really in tune with the internet because like I said, they're larger than life. They are the subject of scrutiny whenever anything happens. They're just, they're right there. They're big, boom, in your face. It's really hard to maintain an audience that large. And I don't blame them for just giving up after a while. I mean, look at Doja Cat right now. Like I said, with the whole situation in South America, I mean, at a certain point, it's just, it gets ridiculous. Very odd. I, I had a feeling at some point or another as Doja Cat became more and more successful, I felt like she was 
gonna disappear after a while. I felt that one coming. The more people you attract, the more likely bad people are just gonna come in. Quitting music, I feel like that's a little bit extreme in my liking, but at the same time, if she's clearly not enjoying all of the aspects of the things that she wants to do, or this very specific thing that she's trying to do, she's not 100% enjoying it. I'm not gonna blame her for wanting to quit. And she's not wrong for trying to make that decision. That's not really what this video is about though. This is about stan accounts. The point is, is that a lot of these accounts are trolls. It's not worth your time to even, I mean, I just spent a whole, a half an hour just sifting through this garbage, but you know, a lot of these accounts are like femme presenting. It's not just girls that do this. It's not just the female fans that are this bad. Look at men, all right? Men do this too in a different font. Hmm, maybe Mr. Beast. Let's look at Mr. Beast. Like I said, I'm totally freestyling this video. I might like, I might, I kind of like freestyling videos. It's kind of harder because I feel like I'm kind of just pulling things out of my ass. We'll see how I like this. Let's look at his latest tweet. No new video today. We got age restricted because we're playing with fireworks, LOL. Gonna re-edit it, upload next week. Very simple. I think I speak for everyone when I say we really don't care. Make better content. Dream is way better than you. Stop comparing people. Please, they make different content. Thank you. That's exactly the point. It's probably a bot. They always are. They always have their post notifications on, just waiting to send these very generic, beaten down copy pastas. Good, we didn't want your mid video anyway. <laughs> sorry, that's not funny. That's not funny. You, sorry, if you're laughing, you're a bad person. That wasn't funny. Yeah, see now you feel bad. Yeah, just the generic make better content make better content and ratio. Make better content and ratio. That is the min equivalent of these Stan Twitter accounts. So look at this another Mr. Beast. All right, what should we cut with this lightsaber? LOL. I'm sorry to say that after five years of being subbed, I no longer like your content. I didn't want to do it, but I unsubscribed to make better content. Make better content or I'm no longer watching. See, the difference between these male presenting or masculine presenting people versus these feminine presenting people, at least with the feminine presenting people on Stan Twitter with Ariana Grande, Nicki Minaj, Taylor Swift, yada, da, 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 da. at least their insults are kind of funny. <laughs> like I was laughing at some of the responses to, to like pop crave or pop base or charts data. I was kind of laughing at some of them. Okay, now do, do I condone their actions? No, no. Removing the context, some of their tweets would be funny. With these masculine presenting people and their tweets under like Mr. Beast or Elon Musk or whoever, it's just, it's the same thing. It's not funny. It's not interesting. It's just make better content ratio. It's just annoying because it's the same phrases over and over again, but whatever. I'm just, I'm just gonna let it go. This is Twitter culture. I think this is a very interesting phenomenon. I've just, I've noticed this for years. They're all just troll accounts at the end of the day. It's really not that big of a deal, even though, like I said, I sat here for 45 minutes talking about it. I, at the end of the day, it's really not that big of a deal. I'm not mad. I'm not making this video as a, a way of awareness. You know, we need to stop this problem because it's at the end of the day, sending hate, not a great thing, but it's mostly harmless hate. A lot of the times if you're kind of just used to Twitter and how Twitter operates, you just know these are troll accounts. They're just doing it for the attention, the clicks, the views. I know surface level, maybe they can, they seem like a bad thing, but I feel like at the end of the day, it's really not that big of a deal. But I'm, at the same time, I'm not gonna sit here and dictate how you react to certain things. If you are Ariana Grande, Taylor Swift, and you see these comments and you think, Jesus Christ, I feel so bad about myself. I don't, I highly doubt that they do, but you know, if, if you are one of these big artists for whatever reason and you feel bad, I'm not gonna tell you that you shouldn't feel bad because they're trolls sometimes, you know, that's the point of trolls. All right, trolls may not be 100% effective, but they're not 100% ineffective either. Sometimes words do hurt. We're not all built the same. Yeah, I feel like a lot of these trolls, they just, they don't know time and place because like, look at this. What Ariana Grande did for Trans Visibility Day. Uh, Ariana Grande partnered with Pledge to fundraise in support of trans youth. Good step from Ariana Flop. It's just not the time and place. It's just so stupid. I respect her for that. I don't show off. If you're going to be a troll, at least know time and place. But I feel like 
the worst time is the best time to be a troll, obviously, because they work on the opposite of how normal society operates. Hopefully these kids get better. They grow out of this weird phase of needing validation from the internet because Twitter likes are just such a fleeting high. I can make a whole statement about how social media just kills our brain cells and fries our serotonin slash dopamine receptors and blah, 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 scientific shit, scientific shit, blah, 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 blah. I could do that. I'm not going to because it's this is my channel. My channel's not gonna get super serious, super deep very often, if ever, because that's a lot of work and I'm a full-time college student and I don't have time for that. In theory, there could be a bigger picture behind this and there, des there most definitely is a bigger picture behind these things. I'm just not gonna be the one to deep dive into that. Find someone else. I'm sure somebody else probably has done it anyway. Go find them. I'm not gonna tell you where they are because I don't know who has done it, but l go find them if you're that curious. But I think that is the end of this video. I think this is a good place to end. Huh, I hope you enjoyed. This video was a little different for me. I like and dislike being completely off script and just freestyling. <laughs> I don't like it because I, the reason why I script my videos is because my thoughts get all over the place. Like I went on like 12 different tangents throughout this video and you're probably not gonna hear any of them because editing me is going to cut that out. And I am going to have such a terrible time editing that stuff out because I talk too much. I hope you enjoyed this video. But before I go, like I said, all of my social medias are gonna be linked below me if you would like to like the video. That'll be below me. If you would like to subscribe, that will also be beneath me. No pressure. Thanks for watching. Go hug somebody you love before they die. <laughs> That's so morbid. I'm keeping that. For I never